Now let's go over the link layer services or link layer functions quickly. First are these, framing and link access. These two are the necessary functions. So you see this in every LAN technologies. So framing is about encapsulating datagrams into frames. And this is done by adding packet headers. In link layer, you begin to see some protocols add also packet trailer. So we add control bytes after the data. Now, in case the link is a shared medium, then we need to do this channel access control to avoid collisions. And uh, we need to introduce a set of addresses, which is often called the MAC addresses. So they'll be in the frame headers to indicate who the source host or the destination nodes are. By the way, these MAC addresses are very different from the IP addresses we've seen in chapter four and five. Second function is reliable delivery. This is a function that's sometimes not necessary, but sometimes necessary. And it depends on the kind of link okay, we're using. If uh, the link is um, a low bit error link, such as fiber links or twisted pair, generally wired links, we don't see many bit errors. We could let the transport layer protocol, such as TCP, handle those rare bit errors. But for wireless links, we could see potentially high bit errors. Then you might want to input in, implement it again uh, in the link layer. Now, but why? Right? Because uh, TCP can handle it anyway. Third is uh, flow control. This is to pace the sending rate so that the sending node will not be overwhelming the receiving node. Fourth and the fifth functions are related. Uh, one is to detect error. The other is to further correct the errors. Now you can imagine for certain links, you definitely want to do error detection. For certain links, you might want to do error correction. And last is called half duplex and full duplex. So this uh, is related to how the bits are modulated on the link. For a half duplex link, nodes can send Okay, over the link in both directions, but not at the same time. For a full duplex link, then you can imagine data can be sent okay, in either direction at the same time. Where is the link layer implemented? It's definitely in each and every host, but particularly here at the network adapter. These network adapters used to be big, uh, looking almost like a graphics card. They are also called the network interface cards, the NICs. But nowadays, they are more very small, tiny as chipsets on the motherboard. That's why if you look at uh, your motherboard spec, you might see an Ethernet chipset or a Wi-Fi chipset on it. And these network adapters are where the link layer and the physical layer protocols are implemented. And the network adapters are attached to a host through the system buses. This is illustrated here. This is your system, and this is the system bus. We have CPU and memory attached to it, and there are also peripherals attached to the system bus. And the important peripheral we're talking about today is the network adapter. And this is where the link layer and the physical layer protocols are implemented. Now, part of this uh, links, uh, link layer protocol will be running on the CPU as part of the operating system that will enable the processes running on the CPU to call such that the network adapter there will be able to send packet out on the internet. Okay. So network adapters, there are combinations of hardware and software design. And very often now, part of the hardware design will be implemented as firmware such that occasionally the company can send you a firmware update so you could revise the hardware design. Now, one of uh, the example is the MAC address. Uh, several network adapters, uh, manufacturers implement the MAC address as firmware, so one can potentially override the MAC address. So this slide illustrates the adapter's communication. So on the left is the sending adapter. On the right is the receiving adapter. You see operating system running here. There might be a process generating some data. 
so that through the network layer, we have datagram coming down to the link layer running on the network adapter. We would do what? We encapsulate the datagram into a frame by adding some headers or trailers. Okay, so the blue bits here. So this will travel through the internet at the receiving side. Yeah, the link layer at the receiving side will extract the headers and trailers and examine uh, to make sure that these functions are running and then extract the datagram and pass it up to the higher layer.